Tonight, some lawmakers say the governor should not try to avoid a veto override battle over toll roads by threatening to call a special session. It is just the latest development during the 80th legislative session. CBS 42's political reporter Keith Elkins joins us from the Capitol. Tell us about it, Keith. Well, Judy, lawmakers overwhelmingly passed that legislation that the governor says he doesn't like. He has threatened to veto it. They have said that they will override that veto before leaving town. So what's the problem? Well, there's also an 11th hour effort underway here at the Capitol to try to reach a compromise some lawmakers say is more about avoiding embarrassment. Toll roads across Texas, highway construction partnerships with foreign public companies, and a standoff between Governor Rick Perry and state lawmakers. No one wants to vote to override a veto and get into this, into this gamesmanship, but when the legislature has expressed its will clearly, what we think our constituents want us to do, we have to stand by that. Standing on principle could also mean spending summer vacation here in Austin. Special session? Bring it on. If, if, if any one issue deserves more study and a more of a thorough look, it's transportation right now. We have a rogue agency. TxDOT is out of control. The governor has said he does not like the transportation reform bill the legislature sent him and says he'll veto it and call them back in special session. Action this South Texas group of politicians and private business leaders are begging the governor to take on House Bill 1892. We're dead in the water, 1892. You know, stays in. Uh, there's some terribly bad provisions in that. Over the weekend, a handful of House and Senate members will continue meeting privately with the governor's office, hoping to hammer out a compromise before it's too late. And there's no question that time is running out, but state leaders say they're optimistic they can get the job in time. In the meantime, that bill that is sitting on the governor's desk, well, he has until midnight Wednesday to veto it or it automatically becomes law. We're live at the state capitol. Keith Elkins, CBS 42 News.